Hello everybody, welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael, and today we are now on episode 5 of Valley America, and I'm super excited to kind of see how this park is growing and where it's at. And, you know, it looks like for five for four episodes, there's not a crazy amount done, but as you can, if you've been following along, you see all the building that's taken to get to this point, especially with that parking lot and entrance area. But today, or in this video, I should say, what I hope to get accomplished is I want to, I want to essentially get a building built right here. I don't know if I'm gonna get it all the way up to this point. But I want to build some kind of big food building that would. I've got some ideas of some photographs I've seen from real life places and PC parks and stuff. I also want to build a little place underneath here. This kind of like a little garden, almost like we're. Um, for anybody who's been to Cedar Point, there's a spot underneath the chairlift where there's a lot of tables for you to sit at and eat. There's kind of um, some brick around it with some floral arrangements and stuff. And so it's almost like a sectioned off square where you can just kind of sit down, have some shade, eat and stuff like that. And then I want to, there's an idea I've been having for a building that's also at Cedar Point. You see where I'm getting a lot of my inspiration from for this park. <laughs> um, it's a chicken place. I forget the name of it. I should have eaten it the air when I went there, but instead of I ate it, chicken pizza and it was okay, but it was just super expensive. This is more restaurant style. I think this one's more like go up, order your food, that kind of thing. Um, but so that's what I'm hoping to get done with this episode and maybe starting to plan out the pathing over here. I don't know, but there also might be a special guest in the next episode. So we'll see if there's been an update on that by the time this video gets done. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll see you at the first update. So quick update here, and there have been two things that I've worked on so far. As you can see, nothing to the right side. Eventually I will, uh, <laughs> eventually I'll work on that side of the park. Um, but I'm really happy with what we've seen so far. So right away, you can see there is... A lot of this green space kind of here now in the middle and Cedar Point has this kind of really cool kind of um, little place to sit and eat and just kind of relax and with the chairlift kind of going above you and so this is really really cool and I'll show you an aerial view in a second um, or I might save that for the end video but I love how this has turned out so far I had this a little bit more condensed condensed but it just felt a little bit too tight so i'm glad i spaced it out a bit um but now i want to walk around this way i think what i'm going to do for this stroller place is i'm just going to fill that part up in the front i'm not going to make an interior um but if we look this way we've now got a building and this is uh, I forget the name of the actual building but it's an actual building at cedar point that i used as the inspiration for this still got to put some um, some chairs and stuff outside right there but it's hand breaded chicken tenders and that's what this restaurant is advertising but it's called M&J's M&J's chicken so I had M&J's chicken in wild winds so it's basically gonna have to be a staple now that I have an M&J's chicken and um, a jasmine shakes and burger as well so I'll have to make one of those restaurants but then I just kind of copied this over this way. And so I really like the roof. I just use basic art shapes and I just kind of leveled them to different ways, like kind of extended them out a little bit. And I think that looks really, really cool. So I'm really, really happy for it. And um, I think there's a couple small things I might add to this because I got a little bit of advice from... Um, Dippin' Dodds, who is, uh, or Tall Guy Gaming now, which by the way, go check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. He's one of the best detailers with buildings on console, and so got a little bit of advice. So, but I really am happy with how this building's turned out. As I said, it's one of my favorites so far that I've made. And so if you look at the aerial view of this. So I think that gives a good look. And then we look at the rooftop here, did a little bit of detailing, kind of cluttered out the backstage area some. You got some leftover signs. And then this is good. This would be in theory where you could have some of the employees kind of take a break and eat or something like that. 
Um, so I created this kind of little covered pergola for it. But yeah, and then the the rooftop and yeah, really, really happy with this. So enough of me talking. Let's fast forward to the final update or the final view of the episode. All right, we are here at the end of the episode, and we just got to get another good view of um, this unnamed coaster yet, as it is just, it's beautiful how it flies through the entrance like that, and whenever it comes back. Yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with how that turned out. Um, as I said before, I might change up that initial part of the layout and move, kind of like with Gatekeeper, move the... Um, move that dive loop to not dive loop sorry that emelman to the other side of the lift hill just for maintenance purposes and stuff and being able to get a transfer track but as you can see now we're walking in on flip cam again just because i mean just the view now that you get of this <laughs> this food shop that i made is um, let me just say this was a pain in the you know what to build and I might still put some of those kind of decorative pieces on that side part of the roof. I didn't do it initially, but I forgot how much of this the guests will still be able to see. But it's not like this on the back portion, um, because you know it's going to be kind of, that's where the transfer um, or the backstage area and stuff will be. And we'll get a good look at this from the overhead view in a second, but I just wanted to see this from a guest point of view. And so if we walk through here, and I try to put a little bit more detail adding that decorative course at the bottom. If we walk through here, you know, there's, I'm not really doing anything on the inside. Um, that would just been a little too much for what I was trying to do with this, this building and trying to hide some of it, but this is going to be a staff area and it's only going to be this door that opens up. So you'll go back this way. So I did initially have it with two, but then as I was kind of building out this, I was like, well, there needs to be like a, some kind of support here. Um, and so just end up working out that way. Now, one thing I haven't decided yet um, is what I'm going to do with these posts. So that'll be in a future episode where that gets done. Um, just because I'm try trying to look through some ideas and stuff like that. Um, so you can see a couple different options I've kind of worked with. And I might change that to the, decor like the decorative brick instead of the rough brick. Um, so we'll see. Just keep an eye out for that. And... Yeah, if you want to see how this is built, there's going to be a speed build coming out later in the week. There's going to be one for each of the buildings that I made because they took me a long time. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> took me a long time to make, especially this one. Um, but what I love now is how this kind of midway is just really coming together. And so now if you walk up the other way, which we saw on the previous update, We now have MJ's chicken. Yeah, so absolutely love how this turned out. Now, one a couple things I did here to add just a little more detail. On a couple parts I added, I didn't add any there, so I probably should do that. But I added the little white at the bottom. Um, but I didn't do that everywhere. That was just kind of on the main entryways. And then here I changed out these posts because I actually originally done the wrong post and I added some kind of decorative stuff. And then I added this rope um, just because I wanted to, you know, kind of have it fenced off from the foliage and stuff like that. And so once again, if you walk in here, you know, there's, you have to walk through some stuff, um, but there's a couple food shops. And then, yeah, so this is mostly done. Still got to do a little, little bit over here and I got to figure out how I want the seating to look. And I'll talk about what this area is going to possibly be in a second, which is why I still haven't done the back of this building. You know, just got to try to figure out how this area is going to look before I get all that kind of backstage stuff figured out. So you come through this way, you got a little seating area, you got staff, and this is what I'm trying to do with every backstage area is have staff accessibility so that you actually see the staff walking in and out of it like this. Like, I think that adds that realism to it. And especially when I do like the backstage warehouses. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to have two backstage areas. But I like the idea of having a little seating area here for employees who are taking a break and so forth. So now let's hop out of flip cam mode. And 
let's kind of take an overhead view look at what we've done so far. As you can see, this midway is really coming together. Um, got some ideas for potential coasters on either side of the midway. Um, I like the idea still of doing a B&M invert with the first drop like right there. So you kind of see that first drop. And so that, that's a potential for a later coaster. Um, but my idea in this spot is to have this be kind of, let me get, get this on this so we can see this. Yeah. Um, this would be kind of the main kids area out here. And then there, you know, potentially be a coaster here. I don't know if I'd be able to fit another one back here. Um, but we'll see. So there's going to be at least a kids coaster, one or two here, and then two back here. Um, but we'll see kind of what we're able to fit in because this is a really, really small park. And I don't want to overdo it in terms of trying to fit too many coasters where it doesn't feel natural. Um, but it is kind of interesting looking at some parks and how some, some areas you got coaster after coaster after coaster, and then some areas that spread out. Um, so like Cedar Point, for example. Um, when you get over to the area with Millennium Forest, I mean, it's like Millennium Forest, Rougarou, Iron Dragon, Top Thrill, Corkscrew, all of those are like literally sm just smushed beside each other. Um, so it's just kind of interesting how, but then if you're at the, like the front of the park, same thing. You've got Val Raven, Raptor, and Mean Streak, or Blue Streak, but then when you get near the back, you kind of have it a little bit more spread out. Um, yeah, then I do need a custom support. A lot of this lift hill, if not most of it. Um, so yeah, now one thing too that I want to point out is I still gotta, once I kind of figure out how this area is gonna look, I'll finish off like the backstage area for this. And I do want to put, you know, some kind of like ladders and stuff for people, for the staff and employees to get up here. And I didn't realize I was gonna have the roof down this, this low. And so I have some stuff sticking through. Which, to me, is not the end of the world because this is, in theory, a backstage area. So he might actually have some of this sometimes. Um, but this was really tedious to make. So just to kind of give you an idea, this is all thick wooden beams. And then right there is just the rectangle. Like that. Um, and the tedious part of it was these are beams that are angled. These are angled as well. <laughs> And it was trying to trying to roughly have this portion and this portion the same distance away from each other, which didn't always work out. So as you can see, like those look fairly similar. But then I think the one air the one I'm not super happy about is this one right here, um, because you can see the space between those is not only is it shorter than the other ones, it's also further here than it is right here which created a weird kind of looking dynamic. Like if you look at this one, I mean, that's kind of got a little bit of the same issue as well, but it's not as noticeable. But like this one, for example, uh, they all kind of maybe have it. This, okay, this is a good example of one where in general, this one is very similar in terms of height wise to this one from that kind of turquoise section. So that's kind of what I was going for, but this is just something that I hadn't done before. So it's a little bit tricky. And if I do it again, I'm sure I'll figure out by the way, like this one looks to be perfectly done. Oh, I was like, what is that? Oh, it's a bird. Like same thing. So it's kind of the beginning ones I did were perfectly done and then trying to adapt it to different areas got kind of tougher. Um, but yeah, I love, 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 love how this turned out. As I said, just the view it gives and, you know, still not completely done with it, but that's okay. Um, so really this episode, we only got three things done. We got two buildings and then this area. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, these buildings took a while, and you'll see in this in the speed build videos that I've even cut some stuff out and sped stuff up, and it still took a bit. But I really, really am happy with how these are turned out and trying to get better at building. So I've, I feel like I've, I'm on that track to continue improving with my buildings and stuff. And for the next episode, if you're still watching, it will be not as much of me building if not me at all building, I am actually handing the park off to another creator for an episode so that he can create me a coaster in this spot. Now, in this area might change a little bit because I'm giving him the freedom to 
create everything around the coaster as well. Um, and so it'll be a surprise on who that creator is. And, um, but I gave options of, do you want to build a coaster here, kind of back here in this area, right here? And he said he had some good ideas for one in this spot. So I'm really excited for that. So stay tuned next week. Um, so as I said, I don't know if it'll be me really building it all on top of it or if it's just going to be everything that he built. But I'm really, really super excited. Um, so I am, we are... We are hiring, we are um, contracting out a coaster to be built <laughs> instead of building it within the park. Um, actually, that makes no sense what I said, but you get the point I'm trying to make. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And this was episode five, so you can kind of get an overview of what we have so far in the park and really, really excited to see um, what happens going forward and how this park ultimately turns out. So thank you so much as always for your support. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a wonderful rest of your day.